Yes, hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. That's right, it's Sunday afternoon, which must mean it's time for Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So, yes, Show Us Your Cat is, of course, where we're going to be taking a look around the world at your boats and where it is that you sail them. And today we have got for you something very special indeed. In fact, this is a first for Show Us Your Cat, so stay tuned. Yeah, so I'm coming to you from Wild Wind Sailing Holidays on the Greek island of Lefkos, where currently there's nothing going on because we are closed, of course, for the winter. But come May, yes, we will be open and yes, there will be champagne sailing conditions on pretty much every day so if you're in Europe or if you're able to get here then check us out on the internet and then come and check us out in real life. The main feature on Joyrider T this week has definitely been the deep dive that we took having a look at the art of helming on the trapeze. If you haven't yet seen the helming on the trapeze video then do check it out I'll put a link at the end so you can check it out but well worth a look if you are at that stage in your catamaran sailing where you're not too confident when it comes to helming on the trapeze it's well worth it it's such a great feeling to be out there controlling your boat from the trapeze you get a great view feels like flying and you are able to get a few extra beans out of your boat. So have a look. If you'd like to get involved and have your boat featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat, then yes, you can. Check it out in the description below uh, what it is that you need to do. But basically, just send me pictures or video of your boat. And yes, you will be featured in an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat. There's never been a better time to get on the speed stick because if you get your entry in now to the speed stick, you will definitely be inside the top 20, at least for the time being. But if you want to get involved with the speed stick, all you need to do is go out sailing with a GPS device, see how fast you can go, send me the results, and then get on the speed stick leaderboard. Well worth doing. If you want to get yourself a World Series Speed Stick t-shirt, then do head over to TotalJoyRider.com. It's a known fact that wearing a Joyrider t-shirt is going to make you 0.7 of a knot quicker. So well worth checking that out over at TotalJoyRider.com. But right now, yes, it is time for Show Us Your Cat. So let's jump in and have a look at what we're looking at in this week's Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. So we're starting off this week by heading to the heart of the Caribbean Sea, where we're going to Monte Cristi in the Dominican Republic, where we have Luca, who is giving us a little sneak peek at this absolute bad boy that he has built himself. He hasn't given us much to go on. This is just a sneak preview of what is to come. But I would say by looking at it, it's over 20 feet long. It's got a very powerful rig and it looks absolutely fantastic. Not sure about the rock on the bow, but I'm sure that is removable. So thanks for that, Luca. We look forward to seeing that bad boy in action for sure. Next, we're heading across the Atlantic to Saint-Malo in France, where we have Laurent. Laurent has got a 1981 Cat Fever Hobie 16. It's called Wistiti. Now, Laurent's father actually bought this boat was when Laurent was just 15 years old, and it's been in the family ever since. The only major upgrade or change to the boat that's gone on in that time as recently Laurent has replaced the trampoline for a new one. But she still sails very nicely. Laurent gets out on the water regularly with his son 
who's now 19 years old. So it really does show the passage of time. She's got the original sails and is the only boat in the area with yellow hulls, would you believe? The frills and spills certainly keep on coming. Thanks very much, Laurent, for sending us those great pictures of your cat fever. It really is great to see a boat that has been from factory to the family and in the family ever since. So if you've got a boat which has been in your family for a long time, how long has your boat been in your family or have you owned your boat? Did you get it from the factory back in the 70s and you still sail it? If you did, we definitely want to know about it. So put it in the comments. Now, have you ever thought about building your own catamaran? When you looked at it, you thought, no, it's way too complicated and you didn't start. Well, apparently it's not as complicated as you might think. Yes, there are many steps to building your own boat, but these are small steps. And if you can follow some clear instructions and take your time, the results can be fantastic as we are about to see. So we're heading to Wakendorf 2, in, which is just to the northeast of Hamburg in Germany, where we have Nicholas. Nicholas's parents actually started a boat building company, Novacat Catamaran, back in the 70s, where they built boats to order. The range was a 15, a 17, and this flagship 28. These were produced back in the day. Nowadays, Novacat just offers the plans and building instructions so that you can build your own catamaran, just like we're about to see. Nicholas decided to design and build a boat that fitted to the Formula 16 rules so that perhaps later he could actually compete. After some sketches of how the boat should look, he came up with his first CAD model, redesigning several times to optimise volume, weight distribution, hydrodynamics and flow characteristics, both when sailing flat and when flying a hull. After finishing the outer design, he focused on the structure inside. It's fitted with various frames, stringers and foam stiffness. A small 3D printed model was produced and extensive testing in the pool went on. And then the next step, and this was very exciting, was to build a one fourth scale model. The parts of the hull were laser cut from one mil plywood. So Nicholas built everything as he would do later for the real thing to get a first feeling for the building process and to find any possible flaws that might occur along the way. In March 2021, it was time to start building the first prototype. The hull panels were cut from four mil plywood and then a building jig was set up wherein all the plates were laid and wired together. The stitch and glue building method is pretty fast and after the first day, the final shape of the hull was already clearly visible. After aligning and fastening all the plates with the copper wire, the joints had been glassed from the inside. Some cutouts were done for the inspection hatches and where the beams would be installed. For the beam attachments, some moulds had been made from many thin wood sheets, epoxied and then wrapped around the beam. Also the trampoline they made themselves which they pulled in to test and then to make a few adjustments. Then by August, it was time for the first rehearsal and they rigged everything up in the garden. All the lines had been cut to length. And then finally, in early September 2001, everything was packed on the trailer and drove to the nearest bigger lake, Grosser Plonazi, where Nicholas and his dad very proud of what they'd done, had the boat assembled, ready to go. They called the boat Genie. 
in hope that this blue beast will fulfill all of their sailing wishes. The mast is a C132 profile from AG Spars in France. The beams and the other tubes are all standard aluminium tubes. He sourced the rudders from Latvia from a company called Dotan, which work really well apparently. The sails are Formula 16 class legal, built by Sven Lindstadt at Kangaroo Sails, which is just up the road from Hamburg. And here's Nicholas out on the water with his wife. Quite a light wind outing, but enough for a top speed of around 12 knots. He said that it feels great and can't wait to get his 16 out in some more wind. And I think you'll agree, we certainly can't wait to see this bad boy flying a hull with them double trapezing in some breeze. Very nice job there, Nicholas. And again, have you built your own boat? That's two self-builds we've had in this episode. So um, if you are looking or thinking of building your own boat, might be worth getting in touch with Nicholas, who might be able to give you some little tips. Having just done it himself, he's certainly going to know what little stumbles you might come up against along the way. But thanks once again to Nicholas, to Laurent and to Luca for showing us their boats in this week's Show Us Your Cat. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon on Joyrider TV with some more.